Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Todd Howard Starfield. Oh my goodness, it's lovely to be back in this game. And today we're going to be doing something very jazzy indeed. We are going to be doing a completely unarmed build. That's right, instead of shooting my enemies or slicing them in half, I'm going to be gently pummeling them to death using my lovely fists. Now in Skyrim, we were able to manipulate a whole bunch of wonderful modifiers to actually turn the unarmed damage into something a little bit over overpowered. Now Starfield may or may not have this in the game, but there's only going to be one way to find out ladies and gentlemen. So let's dive in and see if Starfield is a perfectly balanced game with no exploits and if my glorious and armed build is viable. So let's begin a brand new game. Right, I have um, designed our character. He is um, a little bit of a weird one, I won't lie, but I personally think he's beautiful. Now despite the fact that we could start with Bouncer and get an immediate bonus to our unarmed damage, I'm actually going to start with Soldier because this gives us the boost pack training at the start, which is very, very useful indeed. For our traits, we're going to pick up alien DNA because, I mean, come on, this man is hardly 100% normal human. Just look at that moustache. We're also going to pick up Wanted because it gives us a damage bonus when our health is low, which is just always a win-win. And then we'll also pick up Terra Firma because, I mean, come on, we're just going to be punching people on the land. Who even enjoys space in this game? So who's going to be our hero today? Well, it's going to be none other than Count Fisto, hopefully the greatest warrior Starfield has ever seen. There we go, we got the sample, this is brilliant. Let's go fight some pirates and start our journey. Now immediately the game's going to auto-equip the cutter, which I'm sure some people use for the opening fight. However, our fists are going to be our weapon. Now starting out the game, uh, fists aren't exactly going to do much damage, but luckily we can improve this with time, because in the physical tree there is a actual boxing line, which eventually means that our unarmed attacks can do 100% more damage and have a chance to knock down a opponents. Well, that's going to be very useful and hopefully we'll be able to train that up and sink some points into it shortly. Anyway, Count Fisto uh, is now ready to rumble out in the real world. Anyway, here comes Barrett with our one-way ticket to Constellation. That we get to meet with the client, which is wonderful. Hello there, Barrett. Well, oh, and here come some pirates for us to fight. Wonderful. Uh, these are going to be our first enemies in the game and I imagine, you know, we might have a little bit of a challenge here. I mean, we don't exactly have any armor and uh, these are dangerous little pirates. Uh, however, there is technically a glitch you can do by placing an explosive barrel underneath them. It can cause the ship to just not land. However, I do actually want to fight these pirates. That would be useful. Pirates, please lower your door so I may begin the uh, process of punching you. Thank you very much. So, well, bam, in we go. And okay, we do 14 damage, 17 damage, that kind of stuff. That's kind of okay, but we could do better. Hello, you. Come on. You've got to die, friend. Thank you very much. I right, punch, punch, punch. You're dead, and a big punch, and another big punch. Come on, you've got to die, friend. Okay, so um, the punching is relatively decent. It's not the greatest. Still, that's all of the enemies defeated. Glorious first success. Now, uh, before we leave, we actually need to go back into the base because uh, I've got to grab myself a little boost pack as that's going to make my life a hell of a lot easier. Uh, the best way to do that is just to come back into here where we just got revived, come over to this little space here, and then there should be a gap just around about here in this little wall and we're able to take this Deimos pack. There we go, basic boost pack. Lovingly secured. Glorious progress. So now we actually have ourselves a boost pack so we can boost around and our punchy fists are ready for some punching. So let's make our way off into the galaxy. Ah, splendid. We're off to space on our own magical spaceship. Anyway, into space we go. We literally just have a boring tutorial section ahead of us. Ah, here comes the Crimson Fleet ships coming to fight us. Wonderful. Lovely jubbly. Uh, we get to shoot at them, which is very fun. There we go. We're locking on. Splendid. Come on, lock on nicely. And then fire the missile. Good stuff. And there we go. Enemy ship destroyed. Everyone's happy. That's our first set of enemies defeated. Although technically we didn't use fists, which is uh, disappointing. But this is the tutorial section, so I have no way of avoiding it. So, job done with the Crimson Fleet destroyed. We must now head over to the Crete Research Lab in order to uh, temporarily murder them all completely. Alright, so our first First stop takes us to the uh, horrific planet of Crete, whereby we are meant to go into this facility to then kill the pirate captain standing on top of the roof. This is a very curious conundrum indeed, because surely we can just bypass this entire section by killing the captain on the roof. Now in a just world, Todd would render that man in so that you could snipe him from a distance, however they didn't want new players doing that, so instead the main boss on the roof doesn't spawn in until you literally get right next to him. So this is why to make my life just 
just a tad easier, I've decided to start with the basic jump pack ability so that I can just uh, jump my way onto the roof. And there we go. There is our main bad guy boss in front of us. Splendid. Now, um, as my opening act, I'm just going to punch the explosive barrel behind all of them. Anyway, hey, Brogan. Um, enough talk. I have places to be. Sorry, Brogan. Punch. Ah, yes, the explosive barrel works. And then what we do is we just punch Brogan into the ground. There we go. Annoyingly, we still don't do that much damage, but that's okay. Because we can still do more than enough damage to pummel this guy. And there we go. Brogan is dead. Now, the best way for me to fight the pirates is to actually just explode them with this barrel. As the barrel will do far more damage than my fist. So basically, I just run at the pirates, drop a barrel, and then I want to punch the barrel. Hey, barrel, come back. Right, there we go. Deposit and punch. Job done! That does way more damage. Right, where is this pirate? Hello. Nope, you are not shooting me. That's incredibly rude. Yeah, I'm gonna need to get uh, some much better armor because um, fighting these pirates is relatively challenging with the incredible amount of low damage I'm doing. Splendid, just one pirate remaining. Where are you, pirate friend? Oh, there you are. Goodness, you look a little bit a uh, little bit glitched, but that's fine. Let me just do some punching. There we go, you're dead. So, splendid job. Pirates dealt with. Back to the ship we go as we are now going to make our way over to Constellation. And there we go, fantastic. We've hit level two, which means I can finally sink a perk point into something that will let us do more damage. Boxing. Unarmed attacks now do 25% more damage is exactly what we need. Anyway, down onto New Atlantis we go. Ah, it's lovely to be back. Now, of course, this is an area where many people pull off a bajillion different exploits. The general speedrunning community appears to have picked up a new trend, which involves using the rescue axe. Now, whilst this might look like one of the worst weapons in the game, it is actually really good because it allows you to use the blocking ability and for some reason when blocking with this weapon upon landing you kind of teleport forwards a little bit you'll notice I just kind of like glitch a bit now as you can imagine this is pretty useful because it allows you to glitch your way into walls and if you can stack this up enough times it makes it possible to actually get into the terrain so what we're going to do is make sure we're in third person and basically line ourselves up with this line and then what you want to do is basically jump land on the left side and then walk to the right and it really is as easy as that because the game just then rubber bands you through this wall into the terrain and there you go you're under the map uh, but yes now they're in here we can steal that money which is really useful and then we want to go over here and loot this chest because it has some aid items in it we're going to need these aid items because part of Count Fisto's unarmed build is the fact that he's gonna have to get up close and personal with his enemies he's gonna have to smell his enemies so hopefully we're not fighting any French people today <laughs> anyway let's just uh, loot this little box for the useful stuff in it I'll be uh, stealing these bandages because I'll probably hurt myself at some point. All of these med packs are useful. So splendid stuff. The chest has been looted. We are now free to continue our journey. Anyway, let's get back onto the corporeal range of existence. So wabam, I've made it. Yes, it's been a glorious success. So we are now going to navigate our way around New Atlantis and make our way over to the Mars District. Now we want to join Constellation because it means we can loot the armor in the uh, basement. And that armor is going to keep us alive when we're punching people. So here we go. We arrive. We've met Constellation. And sure, yep, yeah, we can talk to them but we don't want to uh it's actually a faff we can just skip through all of this hello sarah blah 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 pirates attack anyway they're gonna have a conversation amongst themselves uh that conversation takes forever so instead what you want to do is leave to new atlantis uh because there's no way to speed it up stand outside here and then you can simply re-enter and they will have finished with their conversation so there we go job done we've joined constellation lovely jubbly let us now go down into the basement and steal their fancy stuff huzzah where's the suit of armor i need your suit of armor you'll go to be the only thing that can keep me alive. Thank you. All right, so let me quickly uh, take all. Oh, there we go. Fantastic. Now, the armor stats on this bad boy are much better than my deep space mining suit, as you can imagine, uh, which means I can actually now stand and survive against some of the enemies I run into. So there we go. Splendid stuff. We have now joined Constellation, looted their very useful starting armor, and now Count Fisto is ready to explore the galaxy. Now, we are level three, but that means we still hardly do any damage. Unarmed attacks do 25% more damage and 25% less O2 is used when doing a power attack. This is still not good enough and I need to kill 20 enemies with an unarmed attack so that I can actually level this bad boy up. So it's off into the grand expanse of space we go as I intend to do something I've never done before in this game. Join the Americans and by the Americans I mean um, the Freestyle Collective. Yeah, that'll do. Now ladies and gentlemen, I've got a once in a lifetime opportunity. The wonderful Count Fisto has told me that the first 10,000 people to like this video will get visited 
captured by the Count himself and fisted into oblivion. Wait, hang on a second. I don't think people are going to like the video now. Count Fisto, that's a terrible offer. Oh, well, it's up to you. And remember, once you've liked, you've permanently liked. Count Fisto remembers. And he always is up for a good fisting. Right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We've made our way over to the Freestar Collective space whereby uh, they need help with a bank heist gone wrong. But before we do, uh, we're just going to do a little cheesy thing first. We're going to loot the trader chest, which it turns out is incredibly easy to access here. Step one is very simple. You've got to talk to the trader first so that their actual inventory generates. So after talking to her, we're going to quite simply walk and take a look at the ground around about here. And yep, literally just through the floor, we can now access the trader's inventory because Todd included that in the game for some reason. Thanks, Todd. Job done. Lovely jubbly. I mean, it is the same case with most of the traders around here. I know there's another chest around here for the general store. And I think there's another one kind of like around here in the floor somewhere. But yeah, basically the collision on puddles in this town don't work, which allows us to um, cheese the game a bit. Anyway, we need to break up this bank heist, which has evidently gone wrong. It's a good opportunity for us to gain some experience. Most importantly, join the Freestyle Collective Rangers. Hello, Daniel. Um, Sounds like you could use some help. Right, so we can now negotiate with the uh, with the robbers. Anyway, I'm going to try and convince this man that it's not too late to end it peacefully. I mean, of course, this is probably going to fail, but it doesn't matter. So there we go. The bank heist has definitely gone wrong, but don't worry, the marshal can give me a key to the back door where I can just go in and punch everyone. So there we go. Right, I've got the key for the back door, so now we're just going to run around the back of the bank, make our way inside, and then just pummel everyone to death. Hello there, Mr. Shaw Gangman. Um, I can just give you a big punch. Wow, that was 29 damage. Nice, you're dead. Hello there, man with gun. Punch, punch. There we go. Lovely, he's dead. Right, you're the last one left. Big power attacks, and you're dead. Easy peasy. Goodness, that was just a walk in the park. And now we'll be able to join the Freestar Rangers. Yes, I want to join the Freestar Rangers. Brilliant. Can't wait to get a shiny badge that says I'm legally allowed to fist people. One eternity later. Right, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Count Fisto is back. I have spent an insane amount of time power leveling this character. Power leveling a character basically involves going to space and finding a planet full of very low level grazing herbivores, then proceeding to punch them over and over again to get the many hundreds of kills necessary to actually level up my perks. If we now take a look at my physical tree, I have maxed out boxing so that my unarmed attacks do 100% more damage, and I'm one perk point away from being able to completely max out neuro strikes, which basically allows me to stun and knock out enemies with my fists. The martial arts is also doing relatively well, although I really need to hit the bottom of this tree, but once again, I just need more levels, more perk points, but generally speaking, I think I am at a good spot in terms of doing damage with my fists. Anyway, we are going to go off into space and become better at doing fighting because I need a little bit more experience. So I'm going to continue my Freestar Collective missions by going over to Neon and uh, roughing up some bandits. Right, welcome back to Starfield, ladies and gentlemen. I've continued my lovely Freestar Ranger mission quest and I'm chasing down a dodgy computer hacker lady inside this uh, asteroid base. And of course, she's got a bunch of robots because, you know, that's just how it is with these computer hacker people. However, I made a revolutionary discovery whilst power leveling my way up to level 40, which is that uh, due to the way Todd designed melee combat, you can actually triple your DPS by just holding down one button. I know, it's very stupid. Basically, when doing a melee attack, if you're doing a power attack, you do one big power attack, and then there's this long animation as your fists go back to normal, and then you can do another power attack. That means if I mash away, this is the fastest rate I can attack at. This is mind-numbingly slow and incredibly boring. However, it turns out if you just hold up your fists in a permanent block, you can actually power attack much faster faster. It bypasses easily 75% of that animation, so all you need to do is hold down your block key and smash your melee key, and suddenly you're doing a lot more damage. Anyway, it's time for me to actually test out my melee abilities on an enemy. There is a level 28 robot here. This is quite a powerful boy, and you'll notice I'm doing EM damage to him, which means once the blue bar fills up, he gets stunned and thrown onto the ground, which is basically what we've managed here. So we've just stunned him and then uh, stunned him again. So, unfortunately for this poor little guy, he's in a pretty bad spot because I keep just glitching him into the terrain, uh, and he hasn't really been able to land a hit on me. Oh my goodness, actually, I'm out of O2. Oh my goodness, I used up all of my O2 and I still haven't killed this one being. Okay, right, punch. There we go, he's on the floor again. Punch, lovely. Okay, well, um, that cost me about one third of my health bar, all of my O2 bar, and I killed a single level 28 enemy in a one-on-one -on -one fight. That was incredibly slow.
slow. So even though my damage is now pretty much maxed out to what it can be, uh, in a 1v1 fight, it only works because I'm able to permanently stun lock the enemy onto the ground. And now what about this next zone? Okay, well that's clearly a turret, and the turret saw me. Right, okay, uh, step one, deal with the turret. Ow, turret, please be nice. Right, punch, punch. Stun lock the turret. Stun lock the turret. There we go. Turret down. Ow, turret is still hitting. Okay, health is really low now. <laughs> oh my god. This build is so bad. Right, let's take ab. Increase movement. More CQBX. Let's go for some heart plus for plus 200 damage resistance and some extra health. Just chug down some med packs. Right, let's go. Let's go to town. Okay, bam. Big punch. Big punches. Here we go. Yeah, let's get this shard hopper dealt with. We can keep him stunned just a little bit. Splendid stuff. There we go. There we go. This is damage. Right, it's dead. It's dead. Okay. Four. Okay, now we've got to make our way down the lovely weird rampy thing. Okay, there are a lot of enemies in this area, so we're gonna have to chug more CQBX. It's just gonna have to happen. A little bit more of heart plus as well. Right, let's go. We've got a robot here. Hello there, robot. Bam, punch, punch, punch. Okay, robot dog down. Robot dog has far too much health, so I'm just gonna have to ignore that and go for the big robot. There we go. As long as I can keep stacking the stuns across the board. There we go. Anyway, um, I'm out of O2 now, so I've just gotta run away. Luckily, some enemies just fall over near me. Another heal was to my O2 comes back up. Okay, punch the robot. Punch the robot again. There we go. Right, one robot down. Oh my goodness. It's so nice of you guys all to attack me at the same time. Just all at the same time. I mean, this, these aren't even high level robots. These guys are really low level. You know what? I think it's just best for me to leave these robots goodbye. Uh, just grab all of the healing stuff I can and then just make my way past them. Yeah, let's do that. Just quickly past all of them. Hello, hello. Yep, bypass that. Just gotta quickly break my way into here. Drop down the safe. Come inside here. Here's my target. Finally. Alright, let me guess. Uh, you're just gonna fight me straight away. Hello, Maya. Right. Punch. Punch, punch. All I've got to do is just stun you. And luckily, you haven't been able to um, damage me. So, yeah. Sorry, Maya. That was surprisingly easy. Far easier than everything else. Yeah, let me have a conversation with you, Maya. Right, well, uh, apparently she just gave me a, an encrypted slate. Um, and I didn't have to kill her. However, I still want to. So, um, that's just what I'm going to do. Uh, sorry, Maya. Now that you're no longer a boss fight, you're even easier to murder. So, um, there you go. You're down on the floor now. And you're dead now. Thank you very much. I just there we go. What a glorious, successful mission. I defeated most of the robots. Um, however, we learned a valuable lesson. It turns out melee combat just, just downright sucks. Right, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to our game, where we are discovering very rapidly how much unarmed damage builds absolutely suck. I mean, sure, in a one-on-one -on -one fight, no problem whatsoever, as long as you're fine with dying of old age before you've even finished the game. Because the damage output is terrible. Anyway, our next three-star mission's Ranger quest has us uh, effectively challenged to complete the Red Mile. So uh, that's exactly what we're going to do. Now, this is the Red Mile. Far over there, you can see there is a tower which says Red Mile on it. At the base of that tower is a button that I have to push. I quite simply have to run over there, push the button, and run all the way back. If I can do that, I win. The only downside is that this entire area is filled with high-level dangerous enemies that will run, deal damage, charge at me, shoot at me, you name it, they will murder me. So I'm going to use a few cheeky little gameplay exploits and figurations in order to make it a little bit easier for myself. Step one, ladies and gentlemen, it is important to set an alternate bind key for your jump. For some reason with the way Todd Howard has designed it, if you press space and use that to activate your boost pack, it is going to spend most of the boost pack just aiming to get you upwards. However, if you set an alternative key to act as your jump, it will instead propel you forwards. Using this, we're going to be able to hopefully run slightly further than everyone else. Anyway, first things first, we're just going to nicely have a little walk until we encounter our first enemy. And there it is, a Red Mile Mauler, level 6. Now, you know what? We could actually try and fight this bad boy. I know. I believe in myself. It's our first enemy. Let's give it a go. Let's see how viable this is. Hello there, Red Mile Mauler. Ah, uh, what punch? There we go. Yeah. Oh my goodness, you have so much health. Right, this is a level 6 enemy. And so, yes, I've been able to stun lock it. Uh, but it has still done a lot of damage to me. Anyway, he's down on the floor now. He is almost dead. Almost dead. There we go. Come on, let me just finish you off. Let me just finish you off. Final punch. Final punch. Lovely. Six experience. What a waste of time. So, yeah, we cannot melee our way through these enemies. We must instead run the red mile. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to uh, simply stand back here, wait 
wait until we get to an area with more enemies and then activate our go go gadget juice um just to try and go a lot faster oh you know what this is actually nice normally there's a bunch of enemies here but today they decide to take the day off actually they're just going to be spawned in up ahead aren't they yeah there's a bunch of evil enemies over here i know it oh and yep here's a bunch of weird evil enemies they see me these guys are level 24 so they can do way more damage ah okay right so operation red mile zoomy zoom is afoot step one chug some amp for increased movement speed for two minutes step two chug the heart plus for some increased health and damage resistance and then take a recon stim so i make less noise oh and also i might as well take a penicillin for plus 2002 why not okay so combining all of these factors we now have more oxygen than ever before and we can run fast so that's what we're going to do and then we're going to make sure to jump and then use my boost pack bound to my mouse key and look at how fast we can go yes this is so much faster oh my goodness yep this is uh the way to do the red mile oh easy peasy right now there are still lots and lots of evil enemies but uh once again we just run around them using our lovely jetpack and we'll bam just like that we made it we activate it and back we go easy peasy lemon squeezy oh my goodness look at me fly i literally didn't even need to fight any enemies i could just fly my way across the entire map how wonderful but there we go that was the red mile <laughs> completed in record breaking time i've almost completed the hunt for the final freestyle collective mission big bad guy but there we go i did it oh i'm so good at video games okay right we're nearly on to uh, one of the final quests for the freestyle rangers basically involves infiltrating a mech factory which um as you can imagine probably isn't gonna go too well but i'm gonna try my patent pended strategy of just running past everything all right, so inside I go. Um, there are evidently, immediately, uh, quite a few amount of enemies over there. Yep, there's a uh, level 38 enemy over there. There'll be a bunch, I'm sure, all around me. And so I'm just going to do the best thing I can, which is just to uh, run past them all. There we go. So I'm just going to fly over here, just around the enemies I go, and into the mech factory, <laughs> bypassing the 20 or so people behind me. All right, down here we go through this doorway. I can close it up behind me. Don't want any enemies following me. That would be embarrassing. All right, uh, straight on we go. Go. Paxton Hull is giving me just some kind of giant boring nerd monologue. Pff, embarrassing, honestly. Anyway, just uh, run through the uh, giant lava maze. Yep, now we will take some damage as we fly, but that's okay. It's nothing we can't heal our way through, but yep, just a bypass all of that into this room we go into the mech factory assembly oh this is just how you have to play when you're doing an unarmed build excuse me gents hello hello there first cavalry soldiers i'm sure you're all really good at fighting and the like uh but i'm not so goodbye farewell <laughs> oh my god right defeat paxton hull and defeat uh the first mercenaries okay up i go where is he let me guess, is he in this room? He is in this room. Right, Paxton, say hello to Explosive Barrel. Uh, I'm sure you're gonna love it. There we go. Right, Paxton Hull is currently on fire. Let me close the door and, um, get just trying to stun him. Okay, Paxton Hull is apparently unstunnable. I'm gonna have to chug so many meds for this, right? Aid. Let's chug some amp already. Let's chug Boudicca for increased O2. Let's immediately start chugging some heal bonuses. Right, anyway, yep, I've just gotta keep, uh, pummeling this old man. Oh my goodness, did he just fall down? Oh, you fell through the floor. Good. Full damage works. And you're dead. Wait, now I have to defeat the fist mercenaries as well. Oh, God. Right, okay. Time to use fists on barrel. That works. Honestly, I can hold a barrel whilst I blow it up. Oh, dear. There's a lot of you here. I don't have a barrel here, though, which is annoying. Come to me, men. I've got to knock over all of you. I can't believe I now have to murder all of you one by one. This is going to be so long. Come back, man. There we go. Punch to the head. And you're going to fall off. Do you die from the full damage? No. No, but almost right and punch i gotta make my way up here any explosive barrels yep here we go here's one okay hello friends right group up please group up and punch punch and punch no i want to hit the barrel hit the barrel not the put okay dory he did it himself wonderful okay we're down to just like three members of the first so we're not too bad let's just pop another heal there you go you're dead all right you've got to die come on you awkwardly had to stand next to a turret as well and you're dead wonderful okay punch come on i need to do this in not line of sight of a turret please there we go and he's dead we did it the first has been defeated with my bare hands 
Amazing. I know, but yes, glorious success. Uh, the man who led the first has been knocked down on top of this box. So hey, Paxton. Yeah, I did just cut right through them. Well, actually, I fisted my way through them, Paxton. Now, I think Paxton is about to just uh, die of his own accord. Oh, no, he intends to fight me. Ah, Paxton, you bastard. I haven't got any of my meds. You, <laughs> you annoying bugger. Right, okay. Uh, have I even got anything I can take? This is the most scuffed final boss fight in the universe. Okay, I've got 150 damage resistance from some bandages for five minutes. That's all I can muster. Ow! Stop hitting me, you prick! And why do you have to stand up here? Okay, right, luckily you've fallen again. Okay, Paxton Hull, rest in peace, friend. Uh, I should hopefully be able just to perpetually stun lock you to the floor. Yep, I can. Brilliant. The fists are kind of working. And just like that, Paxton Hull should now be, uh, dead. Last, come on, last couple of shots. Last couple of hits. And he is dead. Brilliant. Let me take his elevator exit key and job done. I'm now leaving. I'm now leaving. Goodbye. I I didn't want to fight many of you, but you made me. You made me do it. Look what you made me do. Right, up into space we go. All right, we've got to effectively bring the man organizing this to justice, because effectively, uh, there's another classic case of the person you didn't expect to be the bad guy was the bad guy, except you kind of did expect him to be the bad guy. The evil capitalist man was behind the evil capitalist decisions. I never expected it. So into Hope Tech we go, where we must confront evil capitalist man about his evil capitalist intentions. All right, so over here we come. We've got to bring this man to justice. Hello, Ron. I'm afraid I know that you're evil. I'm afraid Paxton Hull has implicated you in a conspiracy against the Freestyle Collective. Yes, there we go. Apparently, Ron Hope here wants to effectively give me a bribe so that I forget that I've just discovered that he's, you know, got a very evil conspiracy going on. Uh, so I could accept 20,000 credits, but Ron Hope, like, I can get 20,000 credits by literally just robbing a chest in the ground, so this money is meaningless to me. All right, you're going to turn yourself in and I'll be telling the marshal everything. All right, this man is trying to fight me. Um, um, I'm going to say, look, bribes and threats aren't going to work on me. So he's going to try and fight me. Um, but luckily, I am Fight Man. So Ron Hope is immediately dead. Uh, some of his employees, however, do want to keep fighting me. And that's fine. I can just uh, pummel them using my good old pummeling fists at maximum pummel speed. Turns out most humans aren't capable of standing up to the might of pummel fist. Um, so we'll bam. We'll just knock all of you down to the ground nice and slowly. Right, there we go. Glorious success. We murdered everyone. Kind of, okay. Well, look, some of them did deserve to get murdered. And accidents do happen. And honestly, this is probably the first time I've not taken a bribe in a video game. So people should be proud of me. Oh my goodness, and after that, I've just been given the right to be a full-fledged freestyle ranger. And there we go. I am now a ranger. Oh, I've completed the entire quest line. Brilliant. I did it using only my bare hands. I'm a full-fledged freestyle ranger. So I've been granted my very own Eagle Class Starship. Wow, with no registration fee. Fancy, fancy. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. I beat the entirety of the Freestyle Rangers quest line using just my bare hands, which um, I guess does prove the point that you can beat Starfield using your fists, provided you're glitching your way through the game. It only works if you stack all of the modifiers, are continuously in taking drugs, are exploiting the fact that you have to hold blocks so that you can actually punch faster than the game's otherwise incredibly slow punch rate. It just doesn't work, Todd. Like, I don't know how else to describe it, but quite simply, punch Punching with fists is terrible. It is the worst unarmed experience I've had in a Bethesda game. Full stop. It does not work, Todd. Please, for the love of God, patch it. Because even with all of the exploits on my side, being able to basically only win one-on-one -on -one fights because I'm stun-locking my enemies to the ground isn't fun. If it takes 200 hits just to kill one enemy at high levels, then it doesn't matter that they can't fight back and I'm an immortal god because I still have to stand above their corpse for 25 minutes it's just to kill them. That's not enjoyable gameplay. <laughs> anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I have been the Spiffing Brit. This has been my wonderful adventure into Starfield, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a like. Do consider subscribing, and if you'd like to see more Starfield content in the future, then let me know. As always, a massive thank you to each and one of our amazing and lovely patrons and YouTube channel members, and if you're looking for a video to watch, look no further than this one here, and I'll see each and every one of you in the next one. Have a lovely day, and goodbye for now.